Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on Windows 8.1. So Windows 8.1 just rolled out just a few days ago, and I straight away updated my second hard drive to 8.1. Just an FYI, I have Windows 7 installed on my SSD, and I have Windows 8 installed on my hard drive. And I can dual boot, basically. I can boot into one and boot into the other, just by simply restarting my PC and choosing the boot menu. Windows 8 is a genuine uh, version I've got, it's Windows 8 Professional and I got a free update via the store to Windows 8.1. So my first thoughts of Windows 8.1 was, oh, it's an improvement, it's, uh, they've done a little bit of personalizations which are cool but, you know, it's, it's always nice to have, it's not really essential but it's nice to have, like you can uh, edit, edit the, the, the Metro UI a little bit better and everything like that, the app menu, uh, comes up when you just press a little button it shows all the apps there. The start menu is a kind of a quick um, uh, switch between the Metro UI and the desktop. You've got um, some uh, quirks on the, the the start menu if you if you the start button sorry if you right click on the start button you've got a little um, pop-up which comes up and you can choose some some various tasks that you were similar to uh, Windows 7 and if you search for apps now instead of giving you a blank screen and just saying apps and settings and whatnot it keeps your home page and you, then you can have the apps come up which is really useful so Windows 8.1 is um, a definite improvement for me over Windows 8 but that said I still really dislike Windows 8 or 8.1 the reason behind that is actually main, mainly to do with the forceful nature of Metro UI now a lot of people will say um, Windows 8.1 is better in performance, um, you've got much better, um, the UI looks nicer, it's much more friendlier to use. There's two sides to the argument. My friend, for example, he was saying his he's, uh, relatives found Windows 8 much uh, easier to use because everything was just on one desktop, as in uh, on one Metro UI. Whereas in my uh, experience, my relatives have said that they actually utterly hate Windows 8 because they are always forced to use this Metro UI which is not really useful for them and what they want to do is be accustomed to something they're very used to because elderly people generally speaking are a little less accustomed to change you put change in front of a, a little kid they'll adapt to change really quickly you put um, change in front of an elderly person, when I say elderly person someone which is um, aged uh, over say 40 or 50 years old, it'll take them longer to adopt. Even someone which is 20, like myself, 22, I'll take longer to adopt to change versus someone which is maybe 5 or 6 years old, just because of that's how human uh, brains work. Um, but anyway, my, my relatives couldn't really get accustomed to Windows 8. They really disliked the change and they couldn't get used to it. For me, I got used to the change and it's not about the actual change in terms of, oh, I have to use Metro UI, it's just the fact that Microsoft are forcefully making people use Metro UI because of tablets and um, and phones. I'm on a desktop PC, I don't really care about tablets, I don't really care about phones. I honestly don't care about integration of those two. I, I don't care if they fail or if they, if, they, uh, if they prevail, I really don't care. I care about my operating system on a desktop PC and on other desktop PCs. And because of that, when it comes to Windows 8.1, when, when it came down to actually using it, it was exactly the same feel as Windows 8. But when I compared it to Windows 7, I said to myself, I'm doing certain things, installing certain programs, for example, Start is Back or Start 8, installing certain programs to have my PC running how it used to be running. So why do that when I can run it as it was? A lot of people would say, yeah, well, when change comes, people are not going to just change automatically and they're, you know, it's human nature to be adverse to change. I agree with that. But there's a difference between change and then a better alternative uh, or a more simpler alternative, uh, uh, an alternative which works, if not better, than the current new alternative. Microsoft went with the idea of we can integrate this and put it cross-platform so we don't have to be worrying about things. As much as I agree with that, it kind of um, annoyed a lot of desktop users and it kind of shows from, um, f 
from certain articles which say Windows 8 is the less adopted uh, Windows uh, since Vista. Even Vista had a, a higher adoption rate. An adoption rate means people transferring to the new operating system. So from XP to Vista, there was a difference in visuals, but the performance in Vista was really, really bad. From Vista to 7, the performance of 7 was better than XP, which was great, and it looked better than Vista, so it was like the bombshell. Windows 8 came out, it had a little bit better performance than Windows 7, but the UI was completely different. Sure, the basic internals were the same, but the actual main UI that the person is presented with were completely different. And people did not like that, including myself. I don't see why Microsoft put shot themselves in the foot by doing this, but they had to do something. In some respects, if they had done nothing and just updated the performance, people wouldn't have upgraded for Windows 7 because they didn't see the point. If they made a change, which they did, into the UI, people would not upgrade because they didn't like the UI. So it was almost like a lose-lose situation after producing such a great OS, which was Windows 7. But with that said, as a desktop user, I really do not appreciate Windows, 7, uh, Windows 8, and I really, really like Windows 7. I really liked Windows XP for a long time. I only upgraded to Windows 7 less than a year ago, which is not long uh, considering Windows 7's been out for a little while. But I just didn't need to see the change because Windows XP ran better on my system. But then when I upgraded to a new PC, Windows 7 ran much better on um, the new PC because I was a bit of a memory hog uh, in comparison to XP and all the visuals and stuff needed just that little extra processing power that my other PC didn't really have. So long story short, my personal opinions of Windows 8 are it's a horrible experience. I really don't suggest it to anyone. Even the performance that there are all, this performance is much better. I run on an SSD, my PC boots up in less than one minute. Even if you don't have an SSD, my mum's PC is running on a Western uh, digital uh, black caviar hard drive, 500 gigabytes, and that PC boots up in less than one and a half minutes. Less than one and a half minutes. A load of emphasis on Windows 8 was you get faster boot times, you get faster shutdowns. First of all, shutdowns, I don't really care. I shut down my PC, I walk away. I'm not going to count the amount of seconds it's going to take to, to shut down. And the boot up time, I understand it for really crap PCs, but nowadays everything comes with an i3, an i5, AMD, 6 cores, 8 cores, whatever. So be it laptop or PC, you're only going to really notice a 30 second difference in boot up time. Some people might deem that a lot, but personally, if you have a PC and you turn it on, it takes 30 seconds longer to boot up. I don't think it's a big deal. I really don't think it's a big deal. I don't see why it would be a big deal at all. If you really are concerned about boot up time, get a tablet. If you're on the go, don't get a laptop because that's the only reason you'd get a laptop, a, a tablet on the go rather than a laptop. So there are so many issues with Windows 8 and so many marketing things that Windows or, or Microsoft are trying to push out out there and things I just don't agree with. And I don't see the point in Windows 8 or 8.1. So well done Microsoft for your update, but your operating system still really, really sucks in comparison to Windows 7, even Windows XP, and heck, even Windows Vista because of the lack of people adopting to your new operating system because they really hate that new UI. So hopefully Microsoft take this on board. I doubt they will because as every big company, they really don't really care about um, uh, customers' opinions, but it's their fault at the end of the day, people will still stay on the operating system they want, and for me, that is Windows 7. Anyway guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions of Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1 and whatnot below, and yeah, take care and totally dubbed out. Bye-bye.